you guys. Today we are going to be comparing two of the most popular apps on the Apple App Store when it comes to drawing out a floor plan and then turning that into a customer estimate. So both of these apps are going to be more geared for people with home service businesses, people who are going to houses, drawing out the area, and then maybe they have to give a customer proposal. So here's what we're going to break down in this video. First, the pricing for each of these and what kind of plans they offer. Next, I'm going to sketch out this entire basement here with both to see two things. One is which one's more accurate and which one's faster. So I'm going to time both of those. And then the final part of this video is going to be some of the more robust features like creating an estimate or adding your company's products. And before we go any further, I know there's probably a huge question mark or an elephant in the room saying, well, this is on ArcSight's YouTube channel. That doesn't seem fair. You're right, I do work for ArcSight, but I promise I'm going to do everything I can to keep this as fair as possible because I think they're both great products. And another thing is, although I do work for ArcSight, I don't draw floor plans for a living. So it's gonna be brand new for both of these for me. So it should be a pretty even battle. I think they're both great apps, so I'm really excited to see what both can do. Okay, so as I already mentioned, first thing you wanna do when you're buying a new software is probably know how much it costs, right? So I have up here Magic Plan and ArcSight's pricing pages. I figure that's the best way to dive in. I'm gonna go ahead and show the screen right here so you know exactly what I'm looking at. Um, let's look at Magic Plan first. I see there's three pricing and they have sketch, report, and estimate. What I would say is let's focus on the estimate one here. This is their highest tier. Hopefully you are someone who is ready to take a step with your business. You're looking for a digital solution, something to stop hand drawing customer estimates. Like you're, you're ready to step into 2022. Hopefully your pain point is you're sick of people calling you up and saying, hey, I would love to uh, learn more about that estimate you sent me uh, you know, last month. And then you're digging through a file cabinet and you're like, where the hell is that estimate? Um, so you're finally like, yeah, I need a digital solution. Um, to do any of that stuff, it looks like you need to be on their highest tier. So that's kind of what we're focusing for both ArcSight and Magic Plan. Uh, we're reviewing this like kind of estimate tier. So for them, it's $89.99 a month, probably the most compatible to Arc, um, excuse me, to Magic Plan's estimate tier is this advanced tier for ArcSight, and that is $105 a month. So $15 more a month or so. So the biggest reason of why ArcSight is more expensive uh, from what I've gathered anyway, is that the drawing side of things, I think the estimate and all that stuff is really close. Um, but the drawing side anyways, has all these features of tools like AutoCAD or um, Vectorworks. These expensive CAD tools are built into ArcSight. I think there's some in Magic Plan too. So, you know, I'm not writing either off or anything, but that's my initial hunch of why ArcSight's maybe a little bit more expensive. You can get a little more detailed in your drawings when you're using ArcSight. What I love about Magic Plan, I'll start with that, is their AR and LiDAR capabilities. So essentially with the camera on your iPad or iPhone, you can scan the room and that creates the floor plan for me. My only concern with that is how accurate is it gonna be? ArcSight, yeah, I have to put in a little extra work because I'm gonna have to measure all these walls, but I know everything I measure is gonna be pretty accurate doing it old school, I got the measuring tape. I did look it up and you can use a Bluetooth measure with both ArcSight and Magic Plan. So if you have that, I'm jealous. Let's do it, here goes the timer. All right, this is for ArcSight. Okay, so I decided to kind of narrate what happened here instead of uh, showing you the actual footage because we don't want to watch me marking up a room for 25 minutes, but um, basically what happened is I went around, uh, it was really easy to draw on ArcSight. Um, I was able to just keep copying each wall and dragging it and you know putting in the measurements. So it was really easy. I did the bathroom and the room uh, and I even added shapes. So just the floor plan took like 15 minutes and then adding in all like the shapes and openings and learning how all that stuff works added probably about another 10 minutes. So like an even 25 minutes to get the whole thing done with measurements and everything. I'm put it right here. This is what we made in exactly, exactly 25 minutes. So a couple things I had to go in and redo. Plus I was talking to the camera. Realistically, if you were just doing the floor plan, no openings or anything, you could probably get it done a lot quick. All right, we are in magic plan. Let's get a little bit better light going. Oh, now we're starting. Okay, cool. Um, all right, wow. Move iPad to start. So next up here was Magic Plan. As you can see here, me going around my messy basement, tracking all the corners, 
and it uses an AR system to create a floor plan based out of the photos you take, which is it's just really cool technology. Um, and it was quick. I was able to get this floor plan done, you know, pretty easily. There was a bit of a learning curve as I couldn't figure out how to add the bathroom on. Uh, but as you can see here, I, I figured it out. Okay, I think that might be enough to get the idea of the floor plans. Definitely, I mean, so with uh, Magic Plan, we're at 13 minutes, a little under 13 minutes. Okay, so just finished all of our floor plan, like the, like the basic floor plan part here. Roughly 25 minutes for uh, my arc site drawing here and uh, just under, I think it was like 17 minutes total for Magic Plan. And I didn't have to use a tape measure at all, so that's a big plus there. <laughs> Now the only thing is, and it's kind of what we thought going into it, but we lost a decent amount of accuracy with Magic Plan. Um, although closer than I thought. I honestly thought we'd be a couple feet off when in fact we were more closer to like six inches off on average. So if you don't need like terribly accurate drawings, you could probably get away and save some time with this Magic Plan feature. But you know, for a total newbie, so um, I think this is a great way to look at it too. If you are someone new to technology, new to like drawing systems, you would be me on your first day right now. Faster with Magic Plan, but not as accurate. So we have, you know, it's kind of a deal tiebreaker in my opinion. Uh, I promised I would check out the photos tool for when you're inspecting a site plan um, and when you just want to add photos of what you're working on and then finally adding your company's products in and creating a customer proposal. So I'm going to try to one, learn how to do that in both of these and two, show you guys. Okay, so first we're going to do the photos tool real quick just because I have it up right now. Um, so I'm in ArcSight right now. I'm going to go ahead and start my recording of my screen and I'm going to put it right here. Uh, so I am in here at my desk and I see the photo tool right on the side here. I'm going to tap on that. Okay, so now it wants me to tap where I am in the room. So since I'm at my desk, I'm going to hit right there. Um, and then I'm going to take a photo of the camera. Okay, so there, there you are. We're going to do a... Um, so we're going to use that photo. Great, cool. So. Um, here's what I like is I can now tap this camera and move it to the orientation of where I was facing. So since I was kind of diagonal facing this camera right here, I, I can illustrate that on the iPad. And let's do another quick example of like if you were outside of the front of the house, take a photo of the front of the house and boom. And now the person at the front of the house knows exactly where it is. I am trying to find where their photo, I know I saw it earlier, add object I feel like. Okay, great, okay, okay, found it, it's under details. Um, so photo, all right, let's do the same thing, taking a photo of that, uh, use it, and unfortunately it doesn't look like you can put it into the drawing like you can in ArcSight. Okay, so you can have overall photos it looks like so if you just like tap away and then look at your details you have the photo I did first but then you can get into like the actual wall and then look at the details there and see the other two photos I added so um, it's just a different way of doing things I don't think one is really you know better or worse I wonder if we can mark these photos up let's check both of them so I'm already in magic plan let's see let me tap the photo edit there's gotta be, oh, there we go, okay. So yeah, we can draw on it, hey. So maybe you wanna like draw like, hey, there's a crack. You know, it, it's a little basic, but that's great that you can do that. Um, so now, now let's make sure you can do that in ArcSight too. I just switched back to it. So if I tap this photo and then, um, okay, it looks like I have all the same tools within the photo. So maybe annotate. Okay, so yeah, so I can do a call out, like a little arrow and say, this is broken. Yeah, same way, same way in Magic Plane. Just a couple more options here. Um, uh, but yeah, it looks like they both get the job as far as being able to annotate. Um, just a little, again, a little bit more detail. Same thing with the floor plan. So it's not that Magic Plan can't do it. It's just you have a little bit more options with ArcSight. Okay, so I am in Magic Plan now, looking at the estimate side of things. 
Let's see what it looks like to create an item. Great, now I love this. This makes total sense. So you can do it per item. So let's say it's something, I can think of like a sub pump that you're installing. That's one item and it has one cost. Maybe it has like two different modes you offer or something, but that's gonna be an item. So you see this per item. Um, a great thing to have is per length. Uh, they have some great examples like molding or caulking or uh, some I've seen like French drains That's another great reason to have like a, a line based or a per length item um, And then it looks like we have a uh, surface area again great for uh, you know They suggest painting and flooring. That's probably what we want to do. Uh, let's do surface area to keep it simple um, Let's say it is uh, $20 a square feet and we will say, again, this is, um, I don't know, tile. Total square area, hopefully that calculates it for us. I don't wanna have to, oh, and Magic Plan just crashed on me. Okay, let's get back into that. That is for the floor, so we're all set here. And let's add that. And now let's hope that it takes the square feet, which I think was 42, and times that out. Okay, it does, good. So yeah, we added the tile to the room. That is going to be $898. Cool, okay, so I'm seeing a lot of options for export. Save to files, magic plan folder. Oh, I see it. Okay, cool, and then I'm, I'm sure you can add in your own custom logo. Um, yeah, it looks like everything I marked here, there's the Larry's tile, um, all this information. You can see the floor plan, that looks great. The only thing I'm not seeing on here are the photos we took, so. Um, other than that, it's pretty, I, I like that it breaks down the separate rooms, that's pretty nice, especially if you're doing work in multiple rooms, obviously. You know what, there's, there's one other thing that I wish that was on here, and it was a place for the customer to sign, um, in case you were trying to present this at their home right then and there and you wanted to move forward with the project, not a big deal, but that'd be cool. Um, yeah, so that's estimates with Magic Plan, pretty cool. Okay, now it's time to do um, estimates in ArcSight. Right away, I see on the right side, there's a products tab on the top right. I added a ton in here. So the same way you saw me making the tile in Magic Plan, you can do that all on the website. There's, there's only three types of products in ArcSight. Um, keeps things a little simple, we have, um, the line based, like we mentioned with there for molding, stuff like trenching, anything like that. We have the object based, which again was for those singular objects that we you know, need to build one per each one of them. And then finally the surface area based project. So flooring, whatever, maybe you're pouring concrete, stuff like that. Let's say we're painting this back wall and let's draw that in. So it's like you just draw in on the wall and that snaps right in there, that's pretty cool. So we have paint we're doing, let's say we're also, um, the same thing, let's say we're doing tile in the bathroom. So, um, let's see, we're not gutters. Gutters is another great example of a line base because you just draw the line and you have your pricing already done. Um, okay, so I did not put a tile in exactly, but this should be the same thing. Let's say we're doing epoxy flooring, so. I'm gonna go ahead and touch that and tap in the bathroom maybe? Or do I have to draw it? Okay, it looks like I gotta draw it in there. And I gotta draw this area too. Okay, it snaps pretty well, so that's not too big of a pain. Now let's do, let's add a couple more objects. This is, I, I like being able to visually add the, the products like I am. Um, and, and it's, again, it's just preference, I think, because on, on Magic Plan, you're able to go room by room and add them as like a list, which is, you know, uh, great too. Um, but here we're able to like kind of draw in uh, the scope of work. So let's see what else we have. Lower my keyboard. Let's say this is going back in here where my mini fridge is. Okay. So now we have each three. Let's take that the next step and, you know, I'm, I'm, just like Magic Plan, we're gonna hit this uh, estimate, take off an estimate. 
missing required data. Now, I love this because if you have a team, if you have people out there who um, you are, let's say a new hire, and you say, here's ArcSight or here's Magic Plan, um, you just gotta hope that they learn it that day and that week, and you know, the faster they learn, the faster they start earning for you. But, um, you know, as soon as they get out there, they can start making mistakes too. So, if you have something like this, red, 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 missing data, you're gonna tap into there and your guys aren't gonna forget the details because I think you can, uh, on the computer, make sure that they don't miss the details. <laughs> you can uh, trigger certain products to say, hey, don't forget this piece. Adjust right here I like too, so you can mark it up or mark it down if you're doing a discount. That's pretty easy to do. Um, and then I think the final step is to turn it into a customer proposal. So, okay, and here we are. We have. Um, again, this looks a lot like the Magic Plan one. We have a list of all of the stuff. Um, we have the site details. It looks like you can see the, the products we drew in. You can see and the photos. So I do like that we can see the photos. We can see the annotation where I marked that this particular part was broken. Um, we have that. And then if you scroll up, we also have that customer signature part. So if you were presenting to this to someone, you can pop open this and say, Yes, please, I will buy that. So you've seen, um, basically, I think I've presented everything you might need. Magic Plan, again, was like way faster, um, but then you lost accuracy. There, there's a lot of pros, a lot of cons to each. Hopefully this helped make your decision a little bit easier. And again, reach out to anyone on the ArcSites team or a certain Magic Plan as well, and they'll, they'll help you out. And you know, we're here to help. So thanks for watching, guys.